Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. I'm excited to get into teaching y'all how to create GUIs, which stands, it's a G-U-I, which stands for Graphical User Interfaces, also known as Desktop Applications or Java Swing um, Projects. And what that is, is as you can see right here, um, we're not running this through any console, the Eclipse um, thing. This is a desktop application. It has a desktop uh, little picture right here, and you can click it, and something graphical opens up. So you can, it's called the graphical user interface, and this is the interface that allows you to interact with this program. So that's when Java gets fun for me, is when you can make boxes and um, create it to look the way you want so you don't have to run code in a console or in a uh, in a command prompt you know very old school type of programming so this is where it gets fun I'm gonna teach y'all how to start the basis for a um, starting a box and this is gonna be called the hello world um, JFrame and I said that this is a Java Swing project. There are two like big uh, packages, I guess you could call them, in Java that deals with um, graphics and the GUI type of uh, things that holds all the, the methods available. And it used to be AWT, and you'll see when we start having to import all of these things that we're using up here, that that was the original set of all of Java's GUI things and then they came out with Java Swing which has everything you could possibly think of and so people pretty much use the word swing if they're talking about GUIs but you still will use some AWT um, functions and objects but let's see uh, what did I want to do I don't want to create a Java project I want to create a class Okay, I'm going to say hello world GUI and we can put a main method in there okay this is how we're going to do it we for the most part I never I, I usually have my what's called a driver class or the class that holds the main method I usually have that separate from the rest of my code because you will have to make a, a lot of classes once you start getting pretty technical with um, the functionality of your GUI project or your desktop project. So in this one, um, just to show you a few simple things, I'm going to say uh, J frame, and we'll call this frame equals new J frame. And what a J frame is is pretty much the frame of your application. So this right here that holds the title and the the minimize, maximize, and close box, and the whole border. So that's where the JFrame is. And we need to import this right here. And let's see, this is import, and it's a Java X dot swing, not Java dot swing. So always be careful of that if you're not, if you want to hand type it in there. And we can give it a name right here, and this is where we'll put hello world. Okay? And now what we want to do is, this is very important, if you don't do this, uh, you are going to be scratching your head for a while trying to figure out what's going on. Say frame dot, and you're going to say set close, or set default close operation. And what that means is, this is a method that says what to do when you hit this X button. And we're going to call a static reference to the JFrame class. And so it's just JFrame dot and then this exit on close. And there's a bunch of other things that can happen. Um, but this is the one that you'll use 99.9% .9 of the time. And that's very important. If you don't have that, you're going to be clicking this all day and nothing's going to happen. So, set the default close operation, 
Now we want to set a size. So let's say frame dot set size and we can add a dimension and as let me retype this because there's two ways of doing this dot set size you can put in right here uh, the x coordinate and the y coordinate and they all start from this upper corner right here let me get this big. they all start from this upper corner and x will go this way and y will go down so I guess it would be the what fourth quadrant if you were really looking at the x-axis x and y-axis and this is the zero the, the middle right there so that's the way it, it works it always will put it in that top left corner unless you can set where you want it I usually set size and I just say new dimension and then in here I'll put um, I'll say 300 by 200. So that's going to go 300 wide and go down 200. It doesn't really matter, there's nothing going to be in here. We need to import this dimension class. See, th there's a java.awt. So these are the two different main GUI uh, packages that you'll be dealing with. And let's say. Um, we need to make this visible. So let's say frame dot set visible. And this is a Boolean value, so you just put true. Sometimes you might write this huge GUI code and you're trying to run it and nothing's popping up. And that's probably because you never set visible to true. And uh, for a beginning, this should this should work. So let me just see what happens if I run this. Okay, so we got this box right here and it says hello world and that's your first uh, desktop application it is has no functionality whatsoever but this is setting the framework and then w this is inside it will be called a container and that will contain all of our components that we are going to start learning about so Thank you all for watching and please subscribe below.